Hello friends, welcome to this channel. In this video, I am going to have a class on simple pendulum. Please look here. A simple pendulum mainly consists of a small bob of mass M it is suspended by an inextensible string. The, this point is point P is called point of suspension. When it is suspended, it rests along OP. Then, so this point is called mean position. When, is, when the bob arm is displaced by a distance and it released, it starts moving along this path. This, the, uh, this moment is called oscillations. When the bob is um, released from here, it starts uh, moving and it comes and it comes here and uh, after that it moves to the point R. Then from here it returns its path. It keeps maximum velocity at O. When it moves away from the mean position, its velocity decreases. So velocity is maximum at here, kinetic energy is maximum here. When it goes away from mm, the mean position, its velocity decreases, kinetic energy also decreases. From uh, at this point Q, the velocity is zero. After that it returns, returns and reaches the maximum velocity in the opposite direction at O. So at, um, at O it uh, has maximum velocity at R and Q it has zero velocity. So when it is displaced to this point, uh, the moment during the moment, it has a different velocity and velocity decreases from mean position. So it is, it has a simple harmonic motion. So uh, the rules behind the simple harmonic motion also holds good for the, sim in the case of simple pendulum. So look here. Let the mass of the bob M, weight of the bob Mg, Mg has two resolved components, Mg sin theta and Mg cos theta. Mg sin theta, the force which brings the bob into mean position, OP, is Mg sin theta. Force on, uh, on the bob, force acting on the bob, F equals Mg sin theta. From Newton's second law, we get a force equals mass into acceleration. So, force equals mg sin theta. So, we have mg sin theta equals m into a. A is the acceleration. So, cancelling m from both sides, you get acceleration a equals g sin theta. When theta is small, sin theta equals theta. Mathematical expression is this. When sin theta is small, sin theta equals to theta, uh, equal, approximately equals to theta. So, the acceleration g sin theta becomes g theta, as theta is equal, uh, approximately equal to sin theta. Then, again, angle theta equals arc by radius, only a mathematical expression. Uh, arc means along the length of this path, m cube. So, Length of OQ by L, L radius, the length of the string. So that equals X by L. So, and the acceleration G theta equals G into X by L. In the case uh, here, you can, this is simple harmonic motion as I explained you. So, acceleration equals omega or minus omega square x. Neglecting the minus sign, we get to omega square equals g by l or omega equals root of e by l. 
In the case of simple harmonic motion, time period t equals 2 pi by omega. That's equals 2 pi by root of g by l. Rearranging, you get 2 pi by root l by g. That uh, again, t, time period t equals 2 pi into root of l by g. L is the length of the string, g is the acceleration due to gravity. This is the time period, equation for the time period of a simple pendulum. Or from here, we can easily find the value of g, acceleration due to gravity, using this relation. So, in the case of simple pendulum, it uh, an, an example of simple harmonic motion, t equals Time period t equals 2 pi root of L by G. That's all about simple pendulum.